Hello and welcome to episode number nine of Pimp My LinkedIn Profile. Hello there, Neil. How are you? I'm great, Amy. How are you doing? Oh, wonderful as always. I can't believe we're at number nine and I'm really excited to see two really great profiles today. So yeah. once again, some really good ones. So definitely some keen listeners of the show. Today, we're going to look at Jonas Rapp and Mohammed Mossing Khaled. So I'm going to hand over to you first, and I want us to have a look at Mohammed, please. Okay. So first of all, I, I've got a strong feeling that Mohammed is better known as Mohsen because his URL is mohsenkhalid.com. Um, there are lots of people uh, who, you, who have three or four parts to their name, and I'm not always sure how to use their name. So mm -hmm. it's really helpful if people use the feature on LinkedIn where they can record their name or, or they drop or abbreviate their first name just so we know how they want to be known. Um, so Mohsen, if you prefer to be known as Mohsen, then I would make that clear on your LinkedIn profile just to help us out because we're not always sure. But um, hey, Amy, this is a really strong profile. I have to say, I checked it out earlier and there's lots for us to learn from Mohsen's profile. I like his profile picture and his okay. background image here. He's used that to really give us a catchphrase for the types of work that he does. He builds and delivers rock solid solutions that sail smoothly on Dynamics, ERP, CRM, and the Power Platform. I love that, that tagline, really strong branding there. Mosin, well done on that. Good um, I can see you're at, yeah, I can see you're at Mazic Global. Come down. I really like your about section as well. I thought this was really strong. You've got a couple of good paragraphs there. You really talk about some of the achievements you've had in your career and what you can do. And if I was a prospective client of Mazic Global, I now know the value that you're going to bring as, as a delivery leader um, to, to the project team that I'm going to be working with. So I really nice. like that, focusing on um, the technical skills you have, the industry skills you have, and obviously the, the, um, the education you've got there as well. So I thought that was really strong. Um, little section here, this could probably be stronger, just you know, number of things that you're proud of. Um, there was only three there, and then you sort of list the applications. That, that quickly got less interesting as I scanned through that. Can we, can we call in the grammar police if it's all really good? Yeah. Capital, yeah, capital D and I on design and implement, and then no capital I on I'm. That's all yes, I got. The, <laughs> I was the same. There's a few random capitalizations going on, just something to watch out for. A good use of the featured section, um, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a second. Again, we've seen this before with some missing pictures and things. Um, Mohsen, you've got a, a podcast there as well, um, which is great to see. I had a quick check at your activity. Um, you're posting about once a week. You've got lots of likes on other people's content, which is great. But we'd like to see you post a little bit more of your own content or sharing other people's content or engaging with comments. Um, lots of thumbs up on other people's content is fine, but um, you could do more than that, I think, in terms of engagement on LinkedIn. Coming down your experience section, I thought was really strong. You've used these dashes to, to bullet point some of the, um, the leadership qualities and responsibilities you've got at Mazic Global. You've been there for, uh, for nearly nine years. You're a technical architect. So that comes across really well. However, you've linked, I think these are four ISV apps that are on, on different marketplaces. They've all come across with the same logo because I think this is part of the Mazic Global logo that's available on those web pages. So it's not quite clear what these are, where they go. When I dived into them, I, it took me a little while to figure out and navigate over there. So maybe some better use of the, the featured pieces within your experience section. Would what do you think, Amy, of um, Wilson's experience section? I think it's really strong. He's clearly outlined all the roles that he's been through. You can tell he's been through a bit of a career change from AX towards um, customer engagement power platform. Yep. Sorry, that was a naughty word. Um, it's really nice that he's used and spaced it out really well, clearly explained what he was doing. And um, yeah, it's it's neat. He's put some work into it and it shows. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, education, looks like you've just started your uh, master's or you're a year into your master's. Um, so good luck with that. Um, I thought mm. this paragraph sounded like, just like, like a bit of boilerplate you've picked up from DePaul University's website. Didn't really add a lot of value for me. I'd rather you just left the description blank until you've completed your master's and then tell us about the majors and, and uh, maybe the uh, thesis that you wrote uh, once you've completed your master's. Skills and endorsements, really solid. Um, nice. Lots of, you know, 99 endorsements for C-sharp, which is great. So obviously a good technical architect with a development background. 
and a solid set of recommendations. You've received 14, so well done. You've obviously impressed the peers and clients you're working with um, and good use of, of projects. So nice. lots, of, lots of stuff for us to learn from that. Oh, if I was to give you a couple of hints and tips, we've mentioned a few already. The headline here could be just a little bit stronger. I always like to see the name of your employer, if you're an employee in there, um, just because it doesn't always show up elsewhere. And then using abbreviations like CE and FinOps, um, not a great fan of. Um, so just spell those out. Use the official product names from Microsoft. That's the, the thing that people search on most commonly, which will really help you whenever you're um, turning up in searches. So, um, and one final thing um, is your contact section. You've got some great uh, properties on there. You've got your podcast and things. Those are not listed in your contact section. So a little bit of advice would be to add those URLs into your contact section, your Twitter handle mm -hmm. if you have one, and so on. Speaking um, of URLs, yeah. he hasn't customized his, his URL, and he's got oh, yeah. the ugly 5064403 code. <laughs> yep. So you can so tidy, tidy that up. Put that in your profile as well. Uh, Amy, what did you think overall of uh, Mohsen's LinkedIn profile? Out of 10, well, what's your score? Yeah, I'm a personal fan of that headline photo. Um, I believe it was a, we had a chat about that, my, myself and Mohsen, and um, I love it. It's great. He's put in some really good work. As long as we can call in the grammar police on the about, it's super, super strong. Um, he's going to have to be a nine and a half again. Good for you, Amy. I'm going to give him a nine. I think there's a couple of things there you can pull up, but overall, rock solid profile, just like the rock solid solutions that you deliver for your clients. Well done. Nice. Shall we jump over to Jonas? Yes. Okay. Oh, please. Tread carefully, Amy. Jonas Rap, not Jonas. Um, and did you know that Rap means whip in Swedish? So be careful around this man. Oh, I did not know that. I did. I listened to one of his podcasts, and that's why I know. Oh my good. <laughs> good stuff. Um, I love the photo and the headline. Like I know the headline does photo doesn't really tell me anything about him, but it fits in so nice with his photo. It's just so picturesque. I think it's beautiful. I, I presume that's a really beautiful part of the world. So it must be a photograph of Ireland. I'm, I'm assuming. So I'm not quite ah, sure why. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> uh, no, good. We can dream. A, Do you want me to look at it again? It's no, very calming, definitely not relaxing. Ireland. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Um, so I think the, even his tagline, his headline, sorry, I mean his little um, words, I really like what he's done. So instead of saying he's a tech lead at something and then something, he said he's a Microsoft MVP and a tech lead at his company. It's a really smart way of getting all those mumbo jumbo words into a bit more of a sentence. So I love what he's yep. done. I know what he's about. Two lines. Beautiful. Yeah. That's probably the best headline I've seen, Jonas. I'm going to... Yeah. Take a lesson from that and go and check my own. <laughs> Definitely. And um, the about section, it, it starts really well. I love what he was trying to do with it. I really, really like it. And then it gets to like the fourth line and then he gets bored and starts talking in like the <laughs> present tense rather than the past tense. So he's a bit like um, the Warren Dean. He's not quite sure if he's first or third. It's like past and yeah. present. I love where he's going with it. Just keep it going. Yep. Um, um, the uh, one little thing he's got in there, which is really good if you're a little lazy like me, it just says since 2017, which is great because you never need to update that. Whereas if he said, I'm a most, micro, most I'm a Microsoft most valuable MVP for the last eight years, yeah. he would have to update that, you know, every every year he'd have to increment it. Um, with this, you've got the, the start date, leave it alone after that. It's smart. It's really smart. I really like it. I love his feature section. It's so colorful. It describes everything about Jonas. Um, I love it. No comments. No, nothing yeah. else needed apart from gold stars. Oh, rock solid. His activity is amazing. Um, he's really interactive. He comments, he replies. And um, I think I ripped him into something about him um, being in competition for being the most hench MVP recently. So if you want to go check that out, um, it's on there <laughs> as well. <laughs> Um, experience, again, the only criticism I have is that there's no descriptions of what he does for the most recent yes. ones. So I'd love to know yep. a bit more about, I know it's like he's an MVP and a tech lead, but what does he do? Tell me a bit about whereabouts in the plat platform he works, where his impact is. I'd love to know more about that. Yeah, I agree. Some some little, you know, a couple of the project highlights that he's worked on and some achievements would really yeah. um, emphasize his, his skills and experience there. 
and he's obviously the um, the other half of the co-host of XRM Trollcast. And I like what he's done with the links. But again, we've got the same photo, very similar looking photos like we had with Mosin. So maybe have a look at that and make better use of the, that imagery space. Yeah. Otherwise, really cool. Um, and what's really funny is that he started his first job. I think it was his first job or at university the year I was born. So he has been through the consulting industry oh, Amy, for a long off. time. Oh, dear. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. Um, in terms of other things, down to his education, um, I'd love to know more so about Mindset AB. It really teases me that the descriptions is Swedish and I can't <laughs> go and look. So I'd love him to do a little translation for me because I think that's a really cool thing. If you're looking at who he is as a leader and like a technology evangelist, like it looks like it's really on par with him. And I'd love to know more about what that education is. I think it's maybe just a short course that he's taken. It's Primary education seems to be his um, BSc, um, at the KTH Royal Institute of Technology. Um, coming down some good licenses and certifications. Was that missing from Mosin's uh, profile? I don't think he had any licenses or certifications in his. Oh, yikes. Yeah, perhaps it was hidden. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. He's down to a nine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mosin. Half a point off. Yeah, so Sorry, Jonas. Jonas. He gave up on certs in 2014. Um, I don't know how I feel about this because he's obviously a very seasoned consultant. Um, so it might be that I find I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Maybe do one or two, a bit of a sympathy exam, but I can kind of see why certifications at his level might not be as relevant. Um, I think if that's the case, and it is for, for a lot of people with, you know, 10, 15 years experience where certifications maybe don't um, really show off your skills that much. Um, just drop the section from, from your profile. Yeah. Maybe that's what Mosin's done. Do a Mosin. <laughs> Otherwise, looks really good. You know what's really sad here? No one's given oh. him a recommendation. Oh, Jonas. Oh, we'll have I to have know. a word. See if even, even Gustav can give you a sympathy one. <laughs> but even, yeah, his skills and endorsements are shining. They're really aligned to who, what I know about him and who he is. Um, yeah, really great. Yep. What do you think? Uh, there's just a couple of points to pick up there. The skills, and, uh, sorry, the licenses and certifications, the missing descriptions. Um, so as we scroll down, it doesn't get as strong, but it starts out really well at the top. I'm going to give Jonas yeah. an eight and a half today. Great profile, oh. Jonas. Oh. Is that See, being no. harsh, Amy? You know, but the deep, like, it's, it's one of those things you look at the surface, like if I just look at this, he's like a solid, solid 10. And then you go down and it gets a little bit... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take both my votes to 10? a nine. I'm going to a no. no. I'm sorry. After looking again, the, oh, is it, is it nine and a half? Little nine tiny improvements, nine and a okay. half. You've got oh, it. Oh, look at that. He's got an almost perfect contact section. So the nine oh, is justified. Oh, go. do you know what? Nobody's perfect. Take a 10. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Listen, Amy, why don't we wrap up? This is going to be our, well, the, the last two profiles we're going to review in season one of the Pimp My LinkedIn yeah. profile show. Let's come back next week and have a, where are they now? What have they done with their profiles? Did they take on board our advice or have they completely ignored us and trashed their own profiles? So we'll come back and revisit um, most of the profiles that we've reviewed in this season. Um, and then I think we're going to take a, a break for a little while. Is that right? I think so, yeah. I think we've shared enough knowledge for now. I think we need to leave people alone. And I really look forward to getting back into this in a few months and seeing how we can help people again. Great stuff. Look forward to the wrap-up show next week, Amy. See you then. See you next week, sir. Thank you.